Meanwhile. It just ain't right. Well, that's a, that's a really unique invention. And she's just not saying it. Enough stewing. More peeling. <laughs> Sorry, Pinky, but there is no. Pinky looks like so meta. How's he Sven Gallop? Use my friend like that. Sven Gallop. She just filmed a pile of apple oh, peels. AJ, you said my real name. I said your new name. But I saw the real you hanging out with those school ponies yesterday. And I know some pony that'd prefer if you stop doing those little events. Ugh, not this again. Come on now. You just gotta give me a chance to prove what I'm saying is true. And just how are you going to do that? Do exactly what I say. We'll see if that Sven Gallop truly has your best interests at heart. I'll take him to the forest and then beat him up. Sven Gallop? Sven Gallop? Where are you, Sven Gallop? Here I am. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Something? Yes. I was considering maybe canceling the contest with the school ponies. Countess, this is wonderful. I've been waiting forever for you to cancel that pointless school pony contest. Apparently, Sven Gallop hates children. Have? You do it at every charity event, and it does absolutely nothing to promote the Countess Coloratura image that I built. <laughs> Consider it canceled. Pinky Pie! Pinky! Pinky Pie! <laughs> Pinky Pie all the hooper! To the show. Follow me. He's giving Pinky such a hard time. Daddy, you gonna stand against this or not? <laughs> oh, Twilight's got a plan. Cancel the contest for the Phillies and schedule me a spa treatment. Now that I don't have to oversee a rehearsal with those brats. Brats! For the works. <laughs> you know the drill. Deliver or the diva ditches your dippy charity. <laughs> okay. Talk about the time. All taken care of. You, you know, know the, the drill. drill. Deliver, deliver or, or the, the diva ditches. Ooh, sabotage! So that's how you. Wait, how did you record that? With a horn? So, what's the problem? What? The problem is, is you've been using my name to intimidate ponies to get what you want. But I work incredibly hard for you. I deserve everything I get. But not because you scare ponies into thinking I won't perform for their charities otherwise. I would never do that to my fans, which is why you should have known that I would never cancel the school ponies contest. Hmm. All this charity and school pony contest nonsense is just remnants of that boring little rah-rah I met back in Manhattan. <laughs> rah rah. You clearly don't understand the real me. <laughs> That's a joke. I made you some pony. What can you even do without me? Good you photo finish? Countess Coloratura. Good luck. Oh, he's got a team up with Starlight Glimmer, isn't he? Oh, rah rah. I'm so sorry. That was tame. Are you going to be okay for the concert tonight? Of course. After all, the show must go on. Ha ah, queen Dirty. reference. Sven Gallop's right. This is going to be a disaster. Oh, she looks much better. Be terrible. Can you give us a minute, Rarity? Certainly. <laughs> Implication? Now, why is it going to be so terrible? Because Sven Gallop... She looks much better like that. Everything. The lights, the visuals, the sound. Without Sven Gallop, I have nothing. Now, now, don't go getting yourself into a tizzy there, Rara. Sven Gallop turned you into Countess Coloratura and acted like your friend so we could enjoy the perks that came with being a star. But the real perk of friendship is getting to see your friend being true to their self. And Rara, when you're simply yourself, you're the brightest star I've ever seen shine. Aww. Isn't that cute? Sparkles. She's got more sparkles than Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> she has to come out and introduce him. Because she's the princess. Music Festival. Now it is my great honor to She used the megaphone power again. Countess <laughs> Coloratura! This song may be familiar, but yet it's totally different. Kind of like me, Ra Ra. Ra Ra. Ra Ra? Raindrops is confused. This is a song that was teased in one clip, I think I saw. I mean, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm here to show you yes, that's the one. That's definitely the song I listened to like 10 seconds. Throw off the veil, it's finally time. There's more to me than glitz and glam. You find the cello, Octavia? And now I feel my 
Wow, orchestra! Did Fadi Pants conduct him? How is she playing that? Wait, really good. I love how the unicorn is like. Yeah. Aww. Kinda cool. Earth Funnies are like, wish I had that power. Wait, where's the other voices coming from? Sparkle! Tony Bell, use your horn glowing magic thing! Oh. oh. oh she's just crying while playing. She's not Lady Rara anymore. She's Elton. Rara? I said they're gonna be on iTunes. Wait, where are you going, orchestra? To hell. That was actually really good. Thank you, everybody. When I arrived at the Helping Hooves Music Festival, I had forgotten who I really was. But then an old friend friendship. reminded me what real friendship is about, and she told me that if I was true to myself, I couldn't go wrong. Booty shot. So I Watch it. A very special surprise for her. Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, come on up. <laughs> they get the rising star. Oh, that was so. It's a national anthem. God bless you, Equestria. That was also a nice one. <laughs> there we go. That was a nice song too. Aw, oh, that was really nice! That was actually a really cool episode, I like it! That's cool. There was like four songs here. Oh my god. Who was um, Colin Couture? Lena Hall. Don't even know if I know her. And Colin Murdoch as Sven Gala. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not actually a bad set of songs, I kind of like them. They got like nice flow. Yeah. Nice structure, I kind of like it. <laughs> wow. I think I almost was teary-eyed a bit there, <laughs> but I'm glad that Sven Gallup is not like punched in the face or anything. <laughs> but, like, but I'm surprised that it didn't foreshadow like Starlight Glimmer yet. Like it's actually in the crowd. Like soon there'll be no friends. <laughs> but I don't want. I, I guess they don't want to be like foreshadowed for the kitties to be continued. It's like oh my god, there's still more. Are you gonna be on that live stream where we're gonna look at the finale together? Maybe. Maybe. I can't do what's about you, man. You're <laughs> like my rar rar. What? You're my rar rar, man. I don't even sing. <laughs> I'm surprised this wasn't like a rarity episode kind of thing. Instead, it was like Applejack and stuff. For so, some reason. Yeah, it's usually like the stuff where it's like, oh, I gotta be in the rodeo, be in the sisterhood of social. I'm gonna make some cherries, win the rodeo. <laughs> hey, Appaloosa! <laughs> But in this one, it's just like a personal issue where she's, she knows a friend from like Camp, whatever his name is called, Camp Laszlo or something. I think it's Camp Laszlo because it looks exactly like Camp Laszlo. What? Or um, that Wes Addison Moonrise Kingdom. I don't think anybody knows what Moonrise Kingdom is, but I'll leave that to you to decide, kiddies. So uh, I'll see you later, Dan. See you at the finale. Now I must go.